All right, so since we have a, a more time, because we had a fucking Q&A, uh, I figured that I would go over the war planning method. I went through it very quickly. Um, and me and White are here in the office, so we're going to kind of go through this so it helps. So if he has questions, you can ask them. It'll probably be similar questions to you guys, what you guys ask. So the, the theme today is what you focus on is fans. And nine times out of ten, unfortunately, people are sporadic. and They don't have a time management thing. I learned this a long time ago when I got into, like, Stephen Covey stuff, uh, um, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, and Dale Carnegie, and all these different things. So they had all these, these time management systems. And then when I bought Tony Robbins' time management system, that was good, too. But I don't run seven major billion-dollar companies. I just want to get through my companies and my family and my shit. But... It's how I slowly started to create the foundations because, one, doing this thing made me realize that each one of my areas of my life needed to be dictated in time. So, like, I gave myself roles. I'm a dad. I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a badass fucking husband. Um, you know, like, I'm, I'm the financial master of my family. So, like, all these different roles came into play, which is where I came up with, if you guys have done any other trains with us, give yourself a role as it relates to the area that you're focused on, right? So... In the war planning method, I want to kind of go through this. Like we said, the 20% of the work that you're going to do is going to get you 80% of the results. So I'm going to shorten this so you get it. First, step one, because we're teaching points. Um, your to-do list is shit. Because your to-do list will list all of the things that you have to do. Now, here's how I want you to start looking at your to-do list. Your to-do list is the start And what we call this is chunking. Uh, there's no right chunking. There's no spell check on the whiteboard. You guys fuck me over. Chunking, right? Chunking. The spell right? C H U N K. Chunk. Yeah. Is it? There you go. Chunking. So basically, if let's say you got to go to uh, groceries, groceries, whatever, however you spell grocery store, right? You got to do. Um, you got to pick up the kids. For lunch, you got to do 10 emails. You have to client um, client calls or whatever it is that you're doing, right? Um, you got to make <laughs> videos. You have to call your mom. That's how people do today to do lists. So what happens is they will say, you know what, I got to. Um, you know, let's say out of groceries, you also got to check them out. This is how people live their lives. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, cool. But then when I learned the chunking strategy, it was like, okay, cool. Checking the mail, doing all this other stuff, got it. Those are kind of the same. Um, if I got to do uh, picking up the kids, um, that's a must. That's later. I got 10 emails to do. This is business. This is business. This is business. I got to make videos. Business, I got to call my mom, that's personal. Uh, picking up my kids, that's personal, but it's still a priority. Uh, groceries, I can do all that stuff. This goes into one category, right? So, again, this is the beginning of your war plan. You do this first. So, groceries, groceries, um, mail. That's one area. That's an area of, of, of its own. Emails, videos, clients. Or whatever it is that you do business wise, right? Work. Um, and then uh, that. And then you have a call your mom, which I have on here, right? So technically, this to do list with 10 things just broke it down into what? Technically, three things to fucking do. Because when I go, cool, get my groceries, get the mail. That's one thing. Email, videos, and then clients. 10 emails, two videos. I got two client calls today. Got it. That's technically some, that's one thing. That's business. And then I have called my mom. That's personal. That'd be at the end of the day. And then actually to pick up kids. It's all personal. Now, hopefully you guys get that. You chunk down your to-do list. And then when you have a to-do list, you put your to-do list in categories. Cool? A nifty rag wiper. So on that, all of this stuff leads into your work planning thing, right? So it's like we said, if I got groceries, emails, to-do list videos and stuff, so when I do my work planning thing, I start off with a W and then my A. And then again, we're talking about the 20% of shit that works. 
stop moving over. So you get it. This is how I, I do this all the time. So we go here. These are the lines. I go these categories. I start off with a W, A, R. And this is reasons, actions. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then my what? So what do I want? What do I want out of this? So it isn't just pick up groceries and email and stuff. It's like, man, like I know that there's needs. Like I gotta uh, make sure we have food to feed my family. I gotta check the mail, right? Um, my mail. Me. This is how I do it. But I want to have a good time. I want to enjoy. I want to have some connection. I don't want to just fucking go work and do all this other stuff. So I know that that's what I want. Actions I know I gotta take. I know I have to get groceries. I gotta do this. I gotta. So instead of food, I always say. Feed my family. Make sure my family eats and has good meals. I always say, um, I want to make sure that, I don't know what the fuck I say right there, like food and mail, right? I want to make sure that whatever it is I have, I don't miss because those things are super important. I want to be a good steward of being able to pay my bills on time and or receivership of money or some card I got from somebody who loves me, whatever, right? Um, from that perspective. But then I know I got to go to the grocery store. Like these are the actions I got to take. Groceries, right? Do all this other stuff. So when I put groceries, that's a line. Then I go mail. That's a line. Um, then I put call my mom because I can call my mom on the way to the grocery store. It doesn't need to be long. Cool. And then reason, you know, again, good dad. I want to be all this other stuff. Uh, I want to make sure I feed my family. There's certain meals I want to cook this week, and I make sure I do all this stuff. I stack my reasons big time. And it seems stupid because you take more time making your to-do list. But think about it. If you don't take more time making your work plan, then you will take more time doing shit that doesn't matter, right? 20% that matters gets you 80% of your results. So I spend all my time on my reasons. I spend a little bit of time on the shit that matters because I could have made this list as long as I fucking wanted to. But this is the real reason. This is what what I want. I really want to have a good time. I want to kind of enjoy this stuff. I want to feed my family. I want them to be happy. I want them to enjoy the food that I cook. I want to get the mail so I can, maybe I got a fucking check in there. I always look forward to money, right? So within these groceries, how long am I committed to spending in the grocery store? 15 minutes, fucking tops. That's all I can take. 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes at the grocery store. It only takes me five minutes to check the mail. And then after that call from my mom, it'll take me, what, 15 minutes to actually get to the store. So I have a combined thing of 35 minutes, right? But then I go, cool. This is what I do as it relates to time. I go, what is my bus? I must get groceries. Right? Because I can't call whether my mom's going to be available. I can't call whether sometimes I may go check the mail and man, like there's no mail in there. Or if I, something happens, I go, eh, I can hold off on the mail. I really need to check groceries. Traffic was bad. I got to get there. So technically, I have 35 minutes spent on this one, but five minutes or 15 minutes of must time. So I got choices. So I had, so now it's, it's collective. I didn't go. I had 30 things to do on my to-do list, and I scrambled to fucking get them all done at the end of the night. I fall asleep. It was no. I only really had three things to do today because I categorized them as order of importance. And then off of my main three things that I really had to do, all I really needed to do, my main purpose in this thing was if all else held in the handbasket, technically, I really wanted to get groceries. I spent 15 minutes on that. And did it, was I able to feed my family? Yes. Could I check the mail tomorrow? Yes. Um, could I call my mom? And instead of 15 minutes, be five minutes or just send her a text? Yes. So the call for 15 minutes wasn't a must, but I still got the job done. So did I hit my what? Did I hit my reasons why? Yeah. I wanted my mom to feel good about herself. I want to make sure I feed my family, make sure I didn't miss anything. I want to be a good steward of either receivership or patient so I can be in receivership at some other point. So you, I break this out with everything. If we went to the next day, we go, oh, shit, I want to grow my business. I want to grow my business. I want to help more men. Right? Business-wise. What did I say I was going to be able to do? What are the required actions to be able to grow my business, help more men, do my shit? Video. Ten emails. Podcast. Oh, so, and uh, that was a video thing. So let's say clients. For my clients, I'm committed to 15 minutes per. So... If I was going to call three clients, that's what, one hour, of, uh, 15 minutes, 45 minutes, right? For that, 10 emails, if I commit, commit important actions, 
I'm not going to spend a lot of fucking time on responding to emails. I'm going to put yes, no, general purpose, worst case scenario, fill out your application. I'm going to say 10 minutes on emails. Tops. If I spend more than 10 minutes, I will quit. I'll set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes and I won't look up. Cool. Last but not least, videos. I know that I've allocated time that starts at 10 o'clock to 12, <laughs> 12 p.m. Two hours. So two hours for videos, 10 minutes, right? There, and then 45 minutes. That's what? Uh, eh, let's say two hours and 50 minutes. Two hours, 55 minutes. And in this situation, what is the thing that's going to make me the most money? Grow my business, help more men, blah, blah, blah. Naturally, he's not going to be fucking answering emails, so if emails falls off the list, no big deal. That wasn't a must. I had two hours and 55 minutes, but technically my 45 minutes of client calls takes precedence if I can't do it all. So technically, I can grow my business and help more men more within 45 minutes if I can't hit my two minutes and 55 minutes, two, two hours and 55 minutes, and hit my reasons, right? So you figure with your war planning system, you still do it all. But your brain has to think through better questions because if you ask better questions, you'll get better results. So when you ask better questions like, now am I chunking down all the things that I believe I have to do today, put them in categories and say, these categories best serve the act so it doesn't seem so confusing. And then I put them in an order of importance to say, cool, what do I want? Actions that are required to have to be taken. And the real reasons why I want them, and then you stack your reasons. Make more money, help more men, serve a bigger purpose, be better for my family. Those are all the reasons why I would focus really heavily on what is going to get me closer to these reasons. If my kid broke his leg and had to be at the hospital, what can I do? Shit. I'm going to call these guys. I'm going to take 45 minutes on the way there. I'm going to make sure shit happens. And this still hit my stuff. So at the end of the day, I can celebrate the day. Did you have a good day? Fuck yeah, I had a good day. I spent uh, my three calls. I talked to those guys. Two of those guys came on board. The other ones didn't. I didn't get the emails, got it, uh, and I, I didn't do videos. They'll get over it. Those things were a part of my plan, but they weren't the goal. And unfortunately, if I spend two and a half hours and do a bunch of shit, I lose the day. That's why you watch some people who are in the habit of getting more done with less time succeed past due to believe they have to do all of it because they made certain things important. Or they, I'm sorry, they made shit urgent, not important. Urgent is break your leg, right? So, important. Important versus urgent. Right? Break your leg, urgent. Stop what you're fucking doing and go there. That's urgent. Important, mm, I have a cough. <laughs> Got it. Cough, get that out. I'm busy. I'll get back to you. Right? So, even at my house, my wife knows. If the kids get hurt, Call me. If they just want to talk, text me. <laughs> and I will get to your text in 10 minutes because I know that I've allocated 10 minutes. I don't negate time. I'm not, a, I'm not irrational. I set my timer. That time goes off. And let's say I do do the emails. And 10 minutes goes off and I'm still on email free. I will stop doing emails for that day. I'm like, it'll be a, it'll be a carry-on. So like, say for example, we star, hypothetically, we start talking to these men. We start that, that's done. Uh, we got into the emails, and I got an urgent call from my wife saying, hey, you know what, can you pick the kids up from school? They're in the nurse. I stop. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm here. This just transfers over to the next day. This may transfer over to the next day, because it's still a part of my, my war plan. But it moved its way out of being important versus urgent. If urgent takes precedence. Now, the next day, I may still have something going on, and if it becomes like I just keep carrying over shit, then I'm going to find a way to pass on what I'm trying to continue to carry over that I don't do as something I don't want to do, and I will try to find somebody else to do it, period. It'll get done, but I don't do it because it's moved its way away from even being on my important list, right? Um, and I know this is fucking shitty scribble scrabble, and I'll, I will make sure to put in one of my own sheets as a document into the thing so you can use it as a guide. But I do this. Like, if you don't think I do, as a matter of fact, I think through it in my brain. So when people are talking to me and I say no in their face, that's why. Because I say, okay, this person, is, this person is trying to make what's important to them urgent to me, and that's not the game we play here. Champions don't win by making other things more urgent than what's important to them, right? Um, that's why I ask 
Share what, why the fuck does this matter to you? Because if you don't have something to share in that space, then we have no leverage to help each other do what was important. If you say you're going to show up five days a week, you're going to work out. And the reason why is because you want to hold your kids and play with them and you don't want to grow old and have that opportunity to miss you. And we don't know your why. And if it's not clearly painted, then when you offset the thing that was important, we can't go back and remind you what your reason was as your brothers, right? So the war plan as it relates to a visual aesthetic is one thing. That's data. But data doesn't always make you make decisions. But if we can add a visual aesthetic to your reason and hold you accountable to being able to stick to the planning method that you set in place, then it's easier for us to support you, right? Because we're also looking out for what's important to you, all right? So questions on this. You will have questions. I went through this fast. I, unfortunately, I go through shit fast because I get it. I need to be a better coach, and I appreciate you guys for sticking to me. But in essence, the 20% that matters, what do you want? Actions required to get it. Reasons why you want it. In the beginning of this, everything is going to seem important. But you're going to write it all down, break it up into categories. And then with those categories, if you only have three, only focus on those three categories and what's important to achieving completion of those categories. And then you mark your must. And then you allocate time. Don't dig around with your time. Uh, you know how people say time is money? That's bullshit. Time is time. If you lose time, it's gone. That's all. It's not worth anything if you don't value it. So pick your times, set your timers, stick to those times. When your timer goes off, stop, because you will build a habit of stopping when time is running out and you move to the next thing and you abandon the mindset that makes you feel like you are under pressure because, again, that's fear of failure, fear of being overwhelmed, fear of this, fear of lack of approval, somebody being mad at you, fuck them. If you are important, then you need to be about important things, and what's important is what's on your plan. You have time to get to it the next day? Great. But if you don't do this, you won't have time for your family because you will make everything else more important to them and then they will come in last. As a matter of fact, what I didn't write on there is the time that you spend with your wife. The time. I make a war plan for my wife and my kids. I needed to start doing that because I, I only made business plans. I never made a plan for them. And that plan was broken out the same way. This war plan matters and it fucking works. I've been doing it since 2009. Yeah, I've been doing it since 2008, 2009 is when I learned this method and I adjusted it for my needs. So I know this will work for you. All right, man, if you have any questions, hit me up. Make sure you do this stuff. And uh, I'll put m a copy of my document in there for you and uh, so that way you can see it mapped out and uh, we can go back through if you have questions. All right, man, talk soon.